Stage crew is an experience you won't really get anywhere else in high school. You get to do real world jobs and escape from the monotony of the same classes over and over again and all the moronic teenagers. It's just a more mature environment than the rest of school. Why'd I join crew? Uh, well, I guess it would be good to branch out. Try something new, I guess. Yeah, she turned up for the play, and we told her that it wasn't quite what we were looking for. But suggested crew instead. Uh, excuse me, is Mr. Loveland around here anywhere? No. Then who's in charge? Um, I don't really know. I guess Lauren. Who is that? The goth one. Thanks. Uh, hello? I'm Jordan. Okay. Are you Lauren? Yeah. Uh, that guy over there, he said you were in charge. I'm stage manager. What's your point? I'm busy. Yeah, busy. Managing. Yes? What do I need to do? I don't know. Ask Ryan. I don't like her. Ryan! This girl needs something to do. Take her down to the rifle range and have her sort... the socks. Uh, okay! We've only got one working staple gun, and everyone wants to play with it, so I've decided to guard it! I've been sitting here for 45 minutes, and so far I've had no trouble, but I will not waver in my duties. So, this is where we keep the costumes? And props. What? And props! Then why is it called the rifle range? What's your name? Uma. And also about the rifle range. Back in 1959, when the school was opened, it was rather commonplace for schools to have actual rifle ranges. Students would even bring their own guns to school, but with the deteriorating state of the collective teenage mind, as well as society's growing mistrust of the youth, it became far less common. Gotcha. So are you gonna help me out? No. I don't know what Uma's problem is. She it seems like she doesn't like me. But she does know a lot about the school's history, I guess. I don't want to be doing this. Stop! <sighs> She's alright, I guess. I don't like meeting new people. Shh. 
Is she part of crew now? I guess. <whistles> Am I right? <laughs> oh, Lord Sack Jen is coming. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Nothing. Well. What do you want? For you and your goons to get the hell off the stage. Where's Mr. Loveland coming? You don't have the authority to kick us out. I'm not going anywhere until Mr. Loveland gets here. Crew, vacate the stage! Lauren's the worst. Jenna, she's just, she's, she's the worst. Yeah, they did. I'm protecting this. Let's just go. Three sixteen. That's Loveland's room, right? Yeah. Wait. Who's this? That's Jordan. She's new. Oh hi. I'm Blake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. What's with the stapler? Oh, it's the last one left. Everyone wants it, so I'm protecting it. How noble. Lost it. I can't believe it. The cargo is in the hands of the enemy. Okay, so we were just now informed that we have to prep 316 for student performances tomorrow. We have to adjust the chairs, move the flats, change the riggings, and hang the sheet again. Anyways, off to work. Yes, work. I shall do that. Alright, I need you to go remove and reevaluate the support rings. I need you to go test the weight dispersal on the flats. I need you to go close the blinds. I need you to just stay out of trouble, please. Alright, I need you to go fix the loose winch. Alright, the rest of you, just go help Kayla with whatever she needs. Oh. I have no idea what I'm doing. I do lights. My job is far too complicated to explain simply to you. A lot of people think crew is for big dumb oafs who just carry heavy things, and that's mostly true, but a select few like myself use our skill and intelligence. Oh, all these are in reverse. It's gonna like destroy the wood, but why not? It's not helping. You know, I get the sense that there's like no control or order at all. It's like complete anarchy here. Pretty much. Just go with the flow. Why are there so many damn staples in here anyways? That is the same question I've asked myself. Literally all I've done here is remove staples. Really? You just kind of get caught up in the job. I doubt half of these people even know who I am. Wait, what's your name again? Gabe. Miss Rassler. Alright, stop sitting around the stable, man. You look like an idiot. You can't tell me what to do. I've been in crew longer than you have. I'm not scared of you. I soon realized the work wasn't really that hard. It was just that nobody was doing it. So once Blake and I started, it went by pretty fast. First coming here, I didn't really know what to expect. The people here are um, 
a little strange. This may sound bad or whatever, but before this, I didn't really think I had any special talents or skills. Or that crew was an extracurricular thing, a hobby. But I guess it is. I think I'm going to like it here. Also, that guy with the stapler, he was pretty easy to manipulate. Picture yourself in a living room Your pipe and slippers set out for you I know you think that it ain't too far